Hey people, long time no see. How are you taking it to so bad in Nigeria? Do not worry, it will be lifted anytime soon. So today on Healthy Living with Tosin, I'll be talking about pantry essentials you need in your kitchen. Keeping healthy ingredients and food essentials is half the battle when it comes to making simple and delicious meals. I will show you healthy pantry essentials I keep to make simple, healthy and delicious meals in my kitchen. So guys, before we start, I would like you all to please subscribe to this channel, like this video and also share on social media. So let's dive in. This is a great way to start a new way of eating without stress once you have some of the basic ingredients you need in your kitchen. If you are new to this lifestyle, having a few basics in your kitchen is the key to making your cooking very easy. So if this is your first time switching up to the elderly lifestyle, then this video is for you and welcome to this journey. So you can make the switch now or gradually change as you build up your pantry. Some flowers aren't made from grains at all, but rather nuts and seeds. Here are some of the eldest flowers you can use in your kitchen. Coconut flour, almond flour, buckwheat flour, fonio or archer flour, quinoa, also all with flour and more. Some of the benefits are, it helps with digestion, it is a good source of vitamin B6, iron and calcium. And it is also rich in fiber. Legumes is one of the key ingredients you need in your kitchen. So lentils are smaller, whereas beans are large or kidney shaped. So other legumes you can have in your pantry are kidney beans, black beans, soybeans, peanuts, pinto beans, lentils, chickpeas, and more. Some of the benefits are, they are excellent in fiber, good in protein, vitamins and minerals. They are also low in fat and this is also a good choice of protein for vegans and vegetarians. All grains are some of the ingredients you need in your pantry. So for all grains, you can have wheat, oats, rice, corn, barley, rye, and burger wheat. Burger is rich in fiber, vitamins, minerals, and it is very nutritious. I made a video on how to make burger jollof on this channel, so you can check out the video in case you missed it. There's a full recipe for you to make your own burger jollof rice. And then for oats, oats is one of the eldest greens you can have in your pantry. And you can also eat this as breakfast. Oats are gluten-free and also rich in antioxidants. Pasta is a good source of fiber and energy. It is also made from grain. So pasta is a staple ingredient for a healthy lifestyle. It is easy to make when you can also mix and match with vegetables and other ingredients. So here in my pantry, I have different types of pasta, some locally made and others I had to buy from a local store. When purchasing your pasta, always make sure that you check the label so you know that you're getting the right pasta for your pantry. So I have with me like different pastas and uh, spaghetti in my pantry. Well, this is this is more for me. And uh, it is also good to know that you can have more in your own pantry. Not a packed with fiber, protein, calcium, vitamin E, iron, and they make an excellent choice as a go-to snack sides or served with breakfast some of the elders nuts you can have in your pantry are cashew nuts almonds peanuts pecans walnuts and more seeds are rich in calcium iron and they are also good source of plant-based fats fiber and minerals 
Some of the seeds that you can stock up in your healthy pantry are flax seeds, hemp seeds, chia seeds, of course my favorite, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, sesame seeds, poppy seeds and more. Non-dairy milks are one of the essentials you need in your pantry. So some of the milks that you can have are hemp milk, oat milk, coconut milk, soy milk, cashew milk, almond milk and more. So they are rich in vitamins and minerals, they are also rich in protein and calcium, they are easy to digest and low in calories. Cooking oils are essential pantry items in your kitchen so and they carry essential fats needed by our bodies. You can stock up your pantry with some of these oils such as coconut oil, olive oil, avocado oil, sunflower oil, sesame oil and more. You can watch my video on 5 healthy oils to use in your cooking. If you just love baking like me then you need some of those basic baking ingredients in your pantry so these ingredients will just help you make some cakes muffins um loaf bread banana bread etc with some sweeteners vanilla extract and more see guys i am a lover of spices and herbs and i have a mini garden where i grow fresh herbs that i had to my cooking you can stock up with fresh and dried spices in your pantry so guys i published a video on 12 herbs and spices for healthy cooking on this channel so watch it so let's talk about vinegars these are great flavors to dressings and sauces for your cooking you always need distilled vinegar apple cider vinegar cooking wine lemon lime juice for your cooking so you guys can stock up on this vinegars in your pantry next on my list are sweeteners of course who doesn't like the sweet life so from agave syrup to coconut sugar honey brown sugar dates maple syrup stevia and more you can have different options of sweeteners to stock up in your pantry <laughs> Moving on from the sweet life to dark chocolate. So this is one essential you need in your pantry. I mean, what is it that you do not have chocolate in your pantry? So dark chocolates are rich in antioxidant minerals and it also contains less sugar than milk chocolate. So this is one pantry essential you need in your kitchen. Thank you all for watching and I hope you enjoyed yourself. Of course I did. And I'll bring in a parcel to this pantry essentials anytime soon. So guys, please do not forget to subscribe, like this video, share on social media and also drop a comment below. I want to see you in the comment section. All right, so um, it's bye from me right now and I will see you guys next time. Au revoir.